Isaiah Wachovia can still hear the words of wisdom from his phone call with SMU football legend Jerry Levias. No matter what you go through, whether it's football, life, whatever, no matter what adversity hits, you know, be steadfast, keep your faith. This fall, Wachovia and his Mustangs have been doubted plenty, even now sitting all alone in first place of the ACC standings. For Isaiah, it's a familiar feeling. My whole life, I feel like I've been an underdog, I've been overlooked. Wachovia represents everything SMU wants its program to be about. A South Dallas kid inspired by the mom who raised him. I worked two jobs to, to provide for me and my siblings. There were times I watched my mom cry, you know, just because, you know, she was, you know, going through a lot and frustrated. A top recruit that turned down offers from Oregon, Texas, and USC because staying home meant more. I could have went to a, you know, one of the big schools and been another guy, but being one of the guys here and staying here and doing it here and, and bringing this program back to what it's supposed to be, that was, I feel like it was nothing that could beat that. Not only did Isaiah believe he could help the Mustangs, but that SMU could connect the final dots on his football dreams. Big Picture was always NFL. I remember times four or five years old, like vivid memories, like, oh man, I want to do this for the rest of my life. As a true freshman, Wachobia had instant success, leading the Mustangs in interceptions. Then injuries hit, the head coach changed, and all of a sudden, Isaiah realized he was the one holding the doubt. What did you question about yourself? If football was meant for me, like, was, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? It was a moment where Isaiah could have walked away or transferred out, but he remembered his original mission, to bring SMU back to the top and he knew he had to stay. Last fall, Isaiah's teammates recognized his loyalty with the team's highest honor, voting for him to be the player who wore the number 23 jersey, the same one Jerry Levias once wore as the first African-American football player in SMU history. How validating was that moment of your decision to oh, stay? Man. It was extremely just because I knew that, like, you know, I made the right decision, and it just meant so much that my teammates and my coach acknowledged me as a guy, you know, that, that never gave up. With the number 23 on, Wachobia led the Mustangs to a victory in the American Conference title game, earning MVP honors, racking up four interceptions on the season with the hero who raised him watching from the stands. As soon as I catch my run straight to the stands, jump in the stands, get a ball to my mom, and just to see the smile on her face, and the priceless memories, you know, you can, yeah, priceless. What is that feeling? Best feeling in the world. Just knowing that I've seen her at really hard times and to see where she is, how happy she is, it's amazing. The college football playoff committee can keep overlooking the eight and one Mustangs, but they cannot make Isaiah Wachobia doubt himself or his team. Wearing that number 23 jersey now for the second year in a row, Isaiah is holding on to faith, just as Jerry Levias told him he should. Do you know how he wound up with the number 23? Um, I believe it was a Bible verse, uh, Psalms 23. Which is about David and Goliath. Yeah. How does that really hit to the core of what SMU football is all about? Yeah, it does, you know, just because what we were, you know, obviously the last decade or so into where we are here now, there's still a little bit of doubt out there, but we don't care because we don't care about the outside noise. We understand that everything we want is right in front of us. In Dallas, I'm Jeff Kolb, Fox 4 Sports.